Hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at this little background. Is this not so cute? I'm, I love it so much. Oh my gosh, you have bunny. Oh. I, okay, we, I, Violet, we've got to change Violet's aesthetic because it's not, it's not going with this dark academia, but also springtime vibe that, that we have. What about a little muted background? Oh, that's cute. Okay. I think yeah, like some good, some good neutrals. Oh, you can change the cat? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the world is our proverbial oyster. Oh my gosh. See, some of them just freak me out. Like the orange cat, I think it's it's just a little too orange. Too or yeah. Brown cat. I love cats so much. This is like this is my favorite thing. <laughs> Have you never used the uh, pommel kitty? I haven't. No, I only ever see you use it. <laughs> You're like, well, you do it, and it's terrifying. So I choose to stay away from that. <laughs> oh my god, it's like it's me. <gasps> literally hello everyone you know what yeah that's a vibe that is yeah a vibe. i like it what uh what um sprint times do you usually do when you're sprinting um i do like 35 or 40 mm -hmm. minutes usually yeah. what are you doing today for the sprints I'm going to be reading. I just finished a book. So that means I can start a new book. And I think you're going to be really excited for what I picked. Wait, let me guess. Let me guess. Let me guess. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Guess on what you just finished or what you're about to read. What I'm about to read. Is it a new release or backlist? Backlist. Is it an author I've read a lot of before or just one that I'm like, a, I just love this one book? You've read a lot of it. <laughs> Is it Vicious? No. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue? No. Those are good guesses, though. Okay. They are good guesses. <laughs> hmm. Is it a series? Yeah. Is it a Curious Beginning? I have read A Curious Beginning, so I'm going to be reading the third book. Oh! A Treacherous Curse. Very spontaneously. I was like, I'm going on sprints with Katie. I haven't read it. I have to read it. So, going to continue on. It's cute. I'm excited. I think that's the one with like the like Egyptian like catacombs or some shit like that. Yeah, I think so. What are you going to be doing? I am. Okay, so I have been reading today. I read a lot today and was like, and then you're going to go on sprints and what? Not read. Um, I'm reading Sweet Blood by Pete Houtman. I don't know if that's how you mm -hmm pronounce that i'm sure. sorry Streamyard is doing this dumb thing i'm gonna have to pull up i don't know what's going on like i don't know why this has been happening like on your stream yard are you seeing the comments because they're not coming up um i think i'm seeing comments i don't know if i'm seeing all of them so the last couple times it's um it'll show comments and it'll just stop and you won't see sorry yeah, those are, yeah, they're, let me see. <laughs> okay, now it's, uh, wait, no. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. But just to let you all know, because uh, we are on StreamYard and not, like, watching it via YouTube, because uh, there's a lag and it's kind of weird. Um, there are times when StreamYard will just pause the comments. So it's not that we're ignoring you. It just... I don't know. I don't know why that happens. Ooh. I do want to read that. And it's like recently. Anyway. Um, okay. So I'm reading, I'm reading this because I was doing, well, am currently doing a like diabetes reading blog because I got a new insulin pump and I thought it was going to take a really long time to get. And shockingly it went through super fast, but I thought I would just be able to start it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I had to like schedule training, which is so annoying. I'm like, can't you just do uh virtual? Mm -hmm. No, oh. I have to take my whole ass in there and it's so annoying. So, and I can't go in until like the, the soonest I can go in is June 19th. So 
uh, I was reading like diabetes or books that have diabetes representation in it or ones that I haven't already read because I've already read Blood Sugar and I've already read Arsenic and Adobo. But mm -hmm. there were two books that I was sent in the mail and people said that like a while ago that people said have diabetes representation and it's The Mistletoe Motive and Sweet Blood. I love The Mistletoe Motive. <laughs> and then also I heard that Love Theoretically has a diabetic main character. The new Allie Hazel Hazelwood? Yeah, I've heard of it, but I have not read. I don't know, but I'm telling you, this, I'm obsessed, but I will tell you, you're not going to like this book unless <laughs> two things. You have type 1 diabetes and you were goth in high school. That's like the only people that are going to love this, but I'm eating it up. Can't relate, unfortunately. <laughs> good. I'm, I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> I've heard so many good things about um, Mistletoe Motive. Yeah, that was like one of my favorite books of whatever year I read it. Mm -hmm. It's good. I also am editing a vlog for Looking Glass Sound. And what else was I supposed to be doing? I need to do a thumbnail for two videos. I feel like that was it. I don't know. I take so long editing. I'm like, cause the video itself was like for looking glass sound was like two hours. And I was like, Katie, good God. But then I realized, I always realized halfway through editing that there's one clip of me that I just filmed normally instead of time lapsing. And the clip's like half an hour long. And I'm like, <laughs> good God. Okay. Yeah. So that is something that I need to caveat. Like when I'm, filming it is that I don't like cozy stuff, but there's a difference. Like there's cozy and then there's like cozy because people could say you could venture to say that a curious beginning is a, is a cozy mystery. Yeah. I don't consider it in the same realm as cozies. I would say like, um, the secret society of irregular witches is cozy or, um, the House in the Cerulean Sea, I would even say, is like cozy. And I mm -hmm. usually just do not like cozy books at all. But this is a romance. I'm like, I don't know if I would classify it the same way. Yeah, I mean, like, it feels cozy, I guess. But it's definitely a romance, like, genre-wise. Well, I think it's probably that it's not that it's like, cozy ugh, I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure out like how to describe it is like the coziness if that's what the point of the book is then I don't like it but mm -hmm. if there's something else and coziness is just like a benefit a bonus yeah <laughs> then maybe that's where I'm at I don't know I've already I usually don't like to highlight or annotate until I've like read the book before but I was like nobody knows about this book nobody's gonna want to buy this off Pango Books it's uh, literally I've ne look at this cover okay the, yeah <laughs> the love interest name is Draco like let's no. just oh it's god <laughs> I have well you can't it's not highlighted but I've like written like all in it I'm like oh my god I, I, I need to look this up if this guy does not have diabetes I'll be genuinely confused I, yeah, that cover though, I was like, when was it? When did it come out? Oh, that's a great question. It's, um, it's giving early 2000s. Oh my God. Yeah, I was like, it looks like there's so many words on this page. Jesus. <laughs> it's hard to tell because usually it doesn't look like this, but oh, okay, wait. It says first paperback edition 2019, but it was written in 2009. Okay. I see that. I see that for this book. I'm not going to lie to you. This author ha has me in a total conspiracy theory. I'm like, you are correct. Like, I'm <laughs> buying it. I'm, bu I'm eating it up. I'm like, who is this author? They have me by the fucking throat. I love that. I love that so much. Thank you. Aww, I so need cute. to figure out... Uh another like merchandise idea that I like genuinely am proud of and like want to put out there because that's a 
That's a big struggle. Weren't you going to do the bunny? Um, the one that's on screen right now. Yeah. So I don't own it. Um, and the girl who does own it wants to do merch of that bunny. So I don't think I can do that. Oh. Um, and she did a different, she like, so I paid for like two different bunnies. Cause I was like, okay, she made this one. So mm -hmm. I'll love if she does another one and there's no way she's watching this, but I did not like it. And it's really weird. Is that like, I looked at all of her other artwork and none of it looks like that. Like, it's all like, it's not the same vibe at all. Okay. So I don't know what possessed her to make that, but I'm obsessed with it. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately. Um, okay, yeah, no, see, I read Chloe Brown and I loved it. I read Eve Brown, loved it. So I don't know. Maybe it's because there's like an extra element. <gasps> yeah. Oh my God, is anybody here doing the um, TBR, like the Tinder readathon? And how is it going? I'm obsessed. <gasps> Hi, everybody, Satan's favorite mistress, Jordaline. Oh my gosh. I was just watching Jordaline. I was catching up on her videos earlier. <laughs> mm hmm. Gotta catch I up on my. Videos. my I feel like girlies. every time she has a um what's that word like not a niche but like a running joke because she'll have like a running joke for a couple months every time I think this one's the best one and then it's the opposite like I swear what's his name is it Trevor no the guy who stands behind the camera oh my God. <laughs> she's like oh Jeremy roll the tape Jeremy I'm fucking dead and then oh my god Jordan I swear to god the last one she did with um when she says that she hired somebody new and the moment before like she's talking to him like oh my god I'm so glad that you're here oh my god you know whatever and then the second before the clip cuts she's like Jeremy <laughs> oh my god it's so fucking funny yeah she's a cancer babes <laughs> oh shit I did not know that. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm so happy. I'm so glad. Oh, hi. Internship relocation. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is it though? No, I totally understand. I have not been reading fuck all recently, um, okay. which that happens to people. You know, you go through emotions and you just can't <laughs> can't bring yourself to enjoy things like oh my god spoiler alert but i was filming my mid-year because i finally put on makeup and like film something which mm -hmm. shock of all shocks uh, right. i was filming the mid-year book freak out which i was just watching yours today oh my gosh um i filmed the mid-year book freak out and i did it like all in one take without looking at the questions first. And I was like, okay, let's just answer truthfully. And yeah. when it said, what book made you happy? There is not many parts of it that I've cut out because the footage, let me see how long it is. The footage that I took was 13 minutes long, beginning to end. And the video oh. itself <clears throat> is 13 minutes and 23 seconds. So I cut oh. like less than a, well, that is with the intro and outro. So maybe I cut like, almost one minute out of it but when i tell you the one thing that i had to cut was when i say like oh what book made you the happiest it's just me standing there like staring like it's awkward silence i couldn't think of anything <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's Ooh. crazy and that's the type of video i need like a plan going into or else i'm just like i don't know what i read this year at all well i felt like if i planned it the video would be two minutes long Oh. Because oh. I'd be like, oh, this one. Well, also because I repeat the same book for like almost every answer because it's like I have like, yeah, I'll have at this point in the year, every year, I'll have like two or three books that I won't shut up about and they're the answer to every single question. Yeah. I felt like that filming mine too. I was like, I was just cutting myself off <laughs> at a certain point. What was it? Wait. No. 
Oh, okay. No, no. So it was, uh, it was the, oh my God, what was it called? Not weekly reading vlog. The, the most recent vlog that you put out. Mm. Unless it just started playing an old video because it just started playing right after the mid-year book breakout. But the video where you showed the, you're like, oh, I, I'd never buy special editions, but it was on sale at Barnes and Noble. The fun you should ask. I was like, it's interesting. It's an interesting. I know. Well, I think it looks, I also think it's kind of ugly, but I don't know if it's like the good kind of ugly or if it's like the bad kind of ugly. And it was on sale. So <laughs> it's cheeky. Like, I think it's yeah. cheeky and like cute, but also I haven't read the book. So I think that my opinion would change based on if I like the book or not. Oh, for, for sure. I haven't read it either. So actually he's here. <laughs> he just flip flops between our internet. Oh, it's so, it's so cute. It is so cute. I am so happy about it. And we're going to do it again, obviously. And also we are like kind of all, which I haven't started it yet. So Amy, look away. But uh, we're all kind of buddy reading Fourth Wing because oh. everyone in my in Patreon is reading this book. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Tori, <laughs> perfect timing. My first book. I hope Maya is doing better than I am. She probably is. She put, um... She, I can't remember what she said that she was reading, but I feel like she was doing pretty good. Okay, no, okay, Shelby, um, hear me out. I, well, I DNF'd Fruits Basket because people say, which I agree with, you need to go and watch a couple episodes of the anime and then read it because one, the art style, I get it's old, but it's not cute. But also it's like very just like, what am I reading? And if you watch the anime first and then read it. So I DNF'd it because I was just like, that's too much effort. Um, but it was taking me a long time to get through volume one. Because volume one's like really long, in my opinion. Um, one, I will say that my packages, for, for whatever reason, it could be for any reason, I don't know, are, have been really delayed. At least I've noticed in the past week. Cause my mom was like, we sent you a birthday card, uh, before her birthday, which is June 8th. And it still hasn't gotten to me. And it's just a card. And I was like, that's really weird. And somebody else said that they had sent me something that was supposed to be here yesterday. And I checked my PO box today and it's not there. And I'm like, hopefully that's just late, but I am planning on, if I don't, film it as a video i will do it live on patreon or live tomorrow i don't know what is your birthday tomorrow yeah oh my gosh happy early birthday thanks oh i was God. like trying so to do the math in my head i was like when does gemini season end <laughs> the 21st got it and it's a wednesday tomorrow and i was like perfect <laughs> Yeah, either I'll do um, Patreon sprints or live sprints. I don't know. We'll do something. Hi, hi. Ooh. Success. That is so good. I like they just leave it open-ended, like, no thoughts, just I watched it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> It's been seen. That's sweet. That's why he doesn't have time to roll your clips because he's too busy rolling mine. He no, he's just tired. He works all day for me or all night because we stay up at night. We, he works all night for me, and then he changes time zones and goes over to Jordan Line. <sighs> Sorry, just gonna have to pay him more. Just gonna have to have a um, competitive salary. Mm-hmm. Fourth wing, I'm assuming, is what you're talking about. Damn. Amazing. <laughs> That's okay. I assume things won't get here before my birthday because it's the postal system. Like, who knows when things are going to come in and come out. Hello. You know what's funny? Usually when 
Alyssa and Amy say some cryptic shit, I'm usually like, okay, let me see. I can probably figure it out. I have no idea. I have no idea what this means. And I'm going to choose not to think about it because I will overanalyze it and figure it out. Do you like surprises? It depends. Yes and no. Like, yes, like I love opening stuff. I love being like, oh my God, what is this? But I don't like surprise like plans, like spontaneity. I'm not a spontaneous person. Like I want to know who's going to be there, where to park, mm -hmm. when I can leave. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, you can. Absolutely. It wouldn't be a birthday without. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, it is. I, can you imagine somebody else being named Jordaline? Copyright infringement. Yeah, no, respect. I have never read a single Cassandra Clare book, not one. That is shocking to me. Well, I feel like it's one of those, like, I, I missed the train, mm. not only when it took off, but like all the trains passing it. Like I've missed everyone. And I feel like if I go and try to start from the beginning and read them now, I'm not going to like them and understand the hype. And then it's like, I don't want to like diss a series that people have nostalgia over and they love it because they have nostalgia for it. Like, you know what I mean? Like if you went and tried to read like a YA series right now that used to be really popular and you're like, I don't know. Maybe it's yeah. not for me. I mean, I read like, I didn't read any of like the popular series when I was like a kid or like at the right time when they were popular. So like I read Harry Potter in high school for the first time and like, um, all the Cassie Clare books and stuff. So I don't know, could be a video. I'd watch it. <laughs> well, also I am one of those people that like, I have watched so many like deep dives or whatever, but listen, you know, I don't know her. I don't know Cassandra Clare. You don't. But the things that she has said and done, hmm. very sketch to me, like very creepy to me. Like, I'm sorry. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, Nana. <laughs> I won't. I will not. I will not. I will not. I will <laughs> not do that. I would. I would. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I will not. I literally, like, I'll just, um, I'm going to delete Discord on my computer tonight so that I don't have the opportunity. <laughs> hmm. It must have been after because you know what? Also, it'll say that things are delivered and technically they were delivered to the post office, but they haven't put it in my box because that will happen where I'll order something and it'll say it's there. Like whenever I ordered one for my enemy, I was like, it says that it's here. And they were like, oh, I'll go check. And it was like sitting in the back. They just hadn't put it. Like it's 1999. I won't, I will, I will, I promise. I'm so excited. Literally, I swear, you know what? I'm going to hate it just because y'all are so obsessed with it. Um, see, I have read Sarah J. Moss and I've really liked some Sarah J. Moss books until recently when her books are a thousand pages long and now I don't care anymore. <laughs> They are sold out everywhere. Go to like a really like out of the way bookstore. They'll probably still have it. I have the first book. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I can't keep up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm going through. Oh, thank you. That's so funny. Cause <laughs> it was way longer than that but I cut it up. Yeah, you, if you were okay, I would be concerned. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It, w it always does that whenever I try to log in, it'll be like, this isn't the right password. And then does that happen to you on any websites where it says that that's not the right username or password and you do the same exact one again and it lets you in? Yeah. 
I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, Rachel's video reads with Rachel. I have to. I think it like that. three parts, and it was <gasps> so crazy. Like, oh my god, you, you might not if you like her books, you might not want to watch it. No, I I care too much about tea. I'm I, I need the tea. <laughs> oh, there's a lot on Cassandra. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Her name is Pia Laplaca, but her YouTube, it's um, linked down below on YouTube. It's the first link and it's Pia's Pages. I think my YouTube's just my name. Is it your Instagram that's Pia's Pages? Yeah, I think so. Well, that makes sense when I was trying to Google images of you and it was just yes. your Instagram that was popping up. I do not want to know what comes up when you google image me oh my god wait i'm not gonna i'm not gonna write it in the comments i'm gonna put it in the private chat just in case somebody tries to look it up but let me tell you what i found <laughs> <Look> <laughs> it up. Look you up. oh yikes i didn't uh, watch it the thing is like i've been on the internet for far too long f from when i was far too young yes no i know and like i don't know how to get rid of it <laughs> I was like, Katie, don't, because I have that too. And I was like, I was like, don't, it's going to be cringed. They always are. Don't watch it. No, you, mm, that's a long story for another day. <laughs> yeah. See, this is true. I would. Yes. Um, because it's, uh, have you read that book? Notes on, or notes on execution? No, I have not yet. <sighs> so good. So I good. I know I need to. I haven't. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Mm, I'm sorry. Mm. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yay, writing queen. That's, that's so exciting. exciting. Uh-huh, as you should. I mean, don't go too far. <laughs> that's all I'll say. <laughs> the limit does not exist. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people do that all the time. And it's, yeah. annoying. I mean, it's the same thing with like people that have subscriptions to Illumicrate and Fairy Loot and they don't want any of it. They just want to resell it. So I, I don't know. I mean, how much are they selling them for? I, it worries me to think about how much. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to look it up because I'm curious. Yeah, I would say hundreds of dollars <laughs> i mean like the things i see on pango books sometimes i'm like no one is buying this oh my god what y'all 100 to 200 300 yeah are you kidding me right now but see no one's buying it it's just they're like that's their asking price they're not gonna sell it for that much i don't know that's at least what i hope <laughs> What is this one? There's one that has a different cover really? and it's selling for $2,000. Is it an arc? Like, it must be. But it's a hardback. Like, I'm genuinely hardcover? confused. What? Is it like the UK edition? It's black with a girl facing away from us and a dragon flying at her. I mean, it's sick. It looks cool, but. <laughs> Not for $2,000. That's absolutely ridiculous like what are y'all talking about the that's one that's 300 dollars has like 23 people on the wish list for it oh yeah exactly y'all a book isn't worth it a book it's is not really worth not it. it's like this is why another reason why i don't buy special editions <laughs> they just make me mad <laughs> that's y'all the cheapest one is two hundred dollars. Oh my gosh, that's insane! You're wrong for that. Y'all are wrong <laughs> for that. Oh my god, this one person. This is disgusting. This is extra disgusting. This person is selling a copy of Fourth Wing that's just doesn't have frayed edges. Is just the second printing, and they're selling it for sixty dollars. Why? Because supply and demand. There's no copies. Yeah, oh. I heard there were like sold out of copies everywhere. So yeah, because it was only the limited first print edition. Here's the thing. On their publisher description on the ISBN, it says limited first print edition featuring spray 
painted edges with stenciled flying dragons. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The photos? No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> hmm. Sounds like a lie there, love. Okay. Ah! <laughs> what? I don't know what that means. I mean, it did look pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, but still. <laughs> no, and also you're exactly. gonna find it at half price books in like a month. Yeah. Do you know the amount of times I find hardback covers of the Diviners original printing at half price books? But if you go on eBay, it's like $300. I wish I had a half price books to go to. It sounds like a blast. It is. <laughs> it's really good. What did, oh yeah, we were going to do something. We were going to sprint crazy. Um, yeah, so I was just editing and then I'm also reading Sweet Blood, which I told myself, I was like, maybe I should wait and not read the diabetic books until closer when I can actually get content for the video, but I want to know, like, I want to know what the fuck is going on in this book. Like, I want to know. So, okay. We're going to do our first sprint. And if y'all want, you can put in the comments, um, maybe like the page you are on right now, or what you want to get done. And then when we come back, you know, you can hold yourself accountable because I never remember the page that I, I started on. And yeah. then you can put, when we come back, what you were at and what you're at now or what you got done. I don't know. I think that that's interesting Makes sense. I like it. I'm on page 51. Okay, cool. We're going to do our first sprint. Happy reading. All right.
Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good. Oh my God. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I love that. Aww. You only you only have more to get. You know what? After rereading it, and then also after watching um, Katie is reading is reading the series right now, I was like, the all of them are great, except um, a perilous undertaking. Is that the one that has the blue cover, or is a perilous undertaking the second book? Oh shit! Wait, no, perilous undertaking is the second book. Wait, I feel like it was like the fifth or sixth one that she didn't an, like an unexpected peril the sixth one yeah that one we both agreed because i was like she was like oh i'm about to start it and i was like <laughs> yikes <laughs> like it's not bad but it's like not even close to as good as the other ones yeah that's also why i decided to pick the series back up because i was just watching her vlog and i was like mm -hmm. i could i could read it i did reading uh Reading Looking Glass Sound, I put away and did like three loads of laundry and was like, was like, why am I not farther into this book than I am? Like, I want to look up how many pages it is because it, it felt a little long. How fast are you listening to it? 1.7, I think. Okay. I think at one point I did bump it up to two because I was like, okay, let's let's get this moving <laughs> it's only 352 pages i mean okay well to be fair i read it in one day so <laughs> there is that oh yeah damn oh my gosh this is humbling nice Okay, here's the thing. The only reason it doesn't scare me is if I'm watching to see that the time's ticking down, but yeah. if I'm not... Yeah. How far did you get? I... So I'm reading it on my iPad, so my pages are all weird, but in the audiobook, I am 15% into it. Nice. I love the audiobooks for that series. They're good. Okay. Yeah. I was doing just the audiobooks, I think, for the first two, but I, I'm liking having both now because I feel like I got a little lost the first time I read them. So I'm 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 having a really good time though. I'm really happy to be back with all these cute cute little characters. They're so fun. That is something that I'm like I definitely feel like about that book. Like having the physical one to annotate and then having the audiobook, but then also if you read them back to back to back, it really lessens like the experience. But the way that you're feeling right now being like, oh my God, I'm so happy to be back with these characters. That is the way that you need to read the book. So good. It's, I lent it to a coworker. So hopefully she's reading it, but I am <laughs> like well and truly obsessed, like obsessed. Oh, I thought I clicked this one. Oh my god. <laughs> Cute. Dear lord. Damn. Wow. I read like 10 pages or something, but I was also editing. So I did like half of it, or a little bit more than half. I was editing and I got to... I'm at 16 minutes mm -hmm. of... I think it was like 42 or 40 or 41 minutes. So, and this is me going back through and like putting in little um, transitions and stuff like that. So nice. Killing it. Did you start at 0%? Yeah. Oh, amazing. I read and also listen to my audiobooks really, really fast. <laughs> what do you listen to it at? Like, it's embarrassing. Like, Okay, so <laughs> it's at like 3.5 right now, but that's just like, I usually do three, but yeah. I don't know. I know it sounds crazy, but like, otherwise I'm like not paying attention and it is kind of the speed that I read, so I know. <laughs> 
That's insanity. <laughs> like, good God. 3.5? It can go that high? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I made it myself. <laughs> I know. I love it. Yeah. It's very cute. I will see. Okay. I used to always listen at like baseline, like the lowest I would go is 1.75. And it would usually be like two or 2.2. And for some reason, like, I think I just got burnt out of doing that because I, I was like listening to like 2.5 and I'd be like, I don't know. Like I, I go through phases, like with genres, I go through phases with like how I want to read. And right now I'm like, oh, I, um, don't want to read it like uh the audiobook super fast because I really like audiobook like like say in the Veronica Speedwell series I love her voice mm. so much that's fair amazing yeah you know we don't know Sid you know we don't know we don't <laughs> hi I I could totally, when people like listen to their audiobooks fast, I'm like, yeah, I totally get it because um, I talk fast. I think fast. I move fast. I want things to be fast. Um, but God dang, 3.5 is at Olympian. <laughs> hey. Rin also has a channel. You want to check that out? So, okay, this is exactly what I mean. <laughs> I will drop it down if the narrator has an accent and I want to, like, take it in. Now, if I hate the accent, I'll speed it up. Because I'm like, if you're going fast, I won't be able to tell how annoying your, your voice is. Truly. Yeah. I mean, also, like, I usually listen at three times speed. It depends on the app. So, three times is my normal. And then I'll drop it down if it's, like, um, nonfiction or a memoir. I'll drop it to, like, two. Um, and... Yeah, I get what you mean about the not getting the full like experience of their accents. But I, I feel like I, I, I like the the narrator for the Veronica Speedwell books. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I get it. Well, yeah, yeah. And I also think that like the Veronica Speedwell books you can listen to faster because the way that she narrates it, just like I don't know, she's very seamless, I feel like. So yeah. it's not difficult. And there's some books that I listen to the audiobook and I'm like, okay, this is a narrator reading a story I can listen to a fast and then there's sometimes when I'm listening to an audiobook where I'm like okay I need to hear your emotion because like you're like yeah. really dramatizing yeah. it mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of one I feel like I probably felt that way about Daisy Jones and the Six because I felt like I was listening to them actually yeah. talk to each other yeah I feel like that one like when it's more of a performance when it's full cast, maybe when it's like, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, hi. hi. April also has a channel. I know. I just saw that I was in um, her, like, kind of like you did the best books of uh, 2022, according to Booktube. She did a similar video that I saw I was in. I was like, whoa. Okay, I have to watch that on the next, yeah. the next round. I'm, it's like, scared but I'm impressed it's okay oh sorry it's okay respect you know you can do well I was about to be like no shame in the game if you listen at one time speed but actually a lot of, a lot of side eye I think with that because if okay if you're watching my channel and you listen to your audiobooks at one time speed you can't watch my you can't I talk <laughs> you have to way slow down yeah. One time speed, isn't that actually like not actual one time speed? Like, isn't that the whole conspiracy? Yeah. So I believe that a thousand percent. Yeah. There's no way people talk that slow. Yeah. And whenever you see those TikToks of um, audiobook narrators recording it, they're not talking that slow. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. now I kind of want to do it too I'm not gonna lie slow-mo Katie <laughs> it's just like my hands are moving all around <laughs> yeah no not for a moment okay okay amazing. 
what are you? I'm going to do the same thing that I was doing before half. Well, no, I want to go watch that video. So I'll watch a video and then read. What are you going to do? I'm going to read. I think I also might bake a cookie. So. Are you taking us along for this journey? I can't take you along, but I can present it once it's done. <laughs> yeah, I think what that might be. What kind of cookie? Um, it's like, it's kind of like a snickerdoodle. But I also I've never have... had a snickerdoodle. Snicker. What? Why? <laughs> never been presented one. I mean, I'll pass it through the, the screen. What is a snickerdoodle? A snickerdoodle is like a cinnamon sugar cookie. Like a, no. I was about to be like, like a ginger snap, but no, that's not the same thing. No. No, this is true. I did think that. I was like, one cookie? Yeah, I'm making a sing, no, I'm making a singular cookie. I am a single <laughs> person who lives alone. <laughs> how can you, how do you do that? Don't, don't they come in like a pack? No, I have cookie dough and I'm just going to make like one cookie. Wow. That's, I thought impossible and <laughs> you've done it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey, Deja. What's up? Okay. I'm obsessed with this color scheme of violet today. Like this is just, I'm obsessed. She's so cute. <laughs> okay. We're going to do another sprint. Oh shit. I need, or shoot. Huh. Like I haven't cussed a million times so far. Um, I'm gonna put what I'm at. Why is there no page numbers in the back? Is this a different book? Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> all good. <laughs> part of a different book in the back. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> One sixty-four. Oh yeah, everyone, put where you're at for the sprint. Yeah. Wait, wait. J jokes. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Violet, the color changing cat. I love that. Yeah. We'll see if she only makes one, then she can only eat one. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Okay. That's all for now.
Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey. Look, I, I, made one chapter. I made a cookie. Oh my God, that's so cute. What is it? Um, It's like a cinnamon sugar cookie. And then I had some leftover raspberry buttercream that I put on top. Haven't had it yet though. Just wanted to save it for this moment. <laughs> Raspberry buttercream. Yes. That sounds good. <laughs> that was real good. I I saw you had some fun reactions while you were reading. What was I reacting? Oh, I mean, there was. I'm like, I remember what like if there was like something that was. What was it that I was reacting to? Um. I did react to, oh my God, I was like, what is <laughs> that she, she says, um, she's talking to the doctor, her endocrinologist, and uh, she's in school and he's like, why are you doing bad in school now? And she was like, oh, because it's too much. And he was like, oh, the classwork is too much. And she was like, no, it's too much having to worry about diabetes all the time and like do all this work and i was like yeah yeah but then she says oh you know how come i don't have any brothers or sisters i'll tell you my mom actually told me this she said the reason they quit having kids was because they didn't want to risk bringing another diabetic into this world and i was like one good god but two i totally understand that because i'm like i wouldn't want to have kids because i'm like i do not want to risk because they might have diabetes and i'm like the guilt that I would feel. That's oh. crazy. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. <laughs> Where was it? I don't remember where it was, but. Oh, how far are you in? What are you thinking? It's called Sweet Blood. Oh, I have this book and I haven't started reading it yet. I mean, I bought a mm. lot of books. So. <laughs> book haul? <laughs> I, um, well, it, I did a book haul, but it was in, um, that road trip reading blog. Oh, true. True. Oh my God. Amazing. You guys are killing it. You read it totally backwards. It tells you in the book, like in the, um, the first page, it tells you how to read it. You read it from right to left instead of left to right. Nice. Killing it. Nice. Ooh, that's a good idea. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <gasps> Thanks. Oh my god, yes, a dangerous collaboration. <laughs> I love that one. Oh my god. That's hilarious. That is also a book with stunning diabetic representation. And it's a really good book. I enjoyed it. Good. That's a lot. Ooh. Wow. Amy's got the hookup. Nice. I have not heard of that. Oh, I've heard so many good things. And also, Dark Matter, stunning. <laughs> nice. Oh, thanks. It's <gasps> Katie Day. <laughs> Fat. Yes! <laughs> is Pia your whole name or is it a nickname? That's my, my full name. Okay. I was just wondering, I'm like, what would it be if it was longer? I know. I I always get asked that question and I'm like so curious of what what they think it's short for. <laughs> Panini. Yeah. Um, okay, so what did you read? I read I think like 13 more percent. Um okay. and I like I didn't really read the title of this book. I was just like next next Veronica Speedwell book and I forgot like I love curses in books like they're like some of my favorite things to read and I just got 
to a point where she's like said something about the curse and i was like holy crap <laughs> i'm obsessed with this mm -hmm. <laughs> so i'm i'm having a blast actually <laughs> Oh my god, that is one of the best books I've ever read in my freaking existence. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh. Group book for the Summerland Readathon. Uh? In two weeks. Ooh, that's exciting. I've gotten that, yeah. I don't know. Oh, happy birthday too. Happy birthday to you too, thank you. <laughs> Oh, shut up. Yep. That's, that's, what my, hilarious. that's what my gym teacher in elementary school called me. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 <laughs> nice. So yeah, you get it a lot. How are you, like, how, you're starting another book immediately afterward? Amazing. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I have it literally sitting right there. I have that, uh, one for my enemy, and the last word. Sitting right there. Maybe I'll start calling. I, I think she meant... No, Pia, I think but maybe she meant pie. No, I think pie. <laughs> I think that's the better nickname. Hi. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. Awesome. I I'm gonna keep <laughs> editing okay. this next one because I'm going slower than I had anticipated, which is always how it turns out. But you know what? We're gonna get it. I will get it done today. I no. will yeah. get it done. Hundred percent. It better be in two sprints. Two sprints, it better be done. Because I've been working on this for days. I'm going to eat my cookie. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait for a review. Thank you. Okay, let's breathe.
Hi. Hi. <laughs> I knew it was counting down, but I was like, or I knew it was, but I went back to Final Cut Pro. I was like, no, I can get in a couple more seconds. I know. <laughs> How's the editing going? It, it's going. Um, I, I had like roughly edited the majority of it. And then like the review at the end is what I haven't edited so now i'm like oh my god I'm so daunting because it's like all just new stuff but i am on i'm at minute what am i at 34 so we're you know we're in the home stretch but yeah steel hi thank you i love you little icon oh <gasps> Thank you. Oh my God. I have to remember to wear my Gemini necklace tomorrow. Oh my gosh. We were chosen. <laughs> oh, we should. Um, I have not read King of Scars, but I know for a fact that it will have mentioned something that happens to Nina in Crooked Kingdom. It has to mention it. There's no way it doesn't. So yeah, I'm sure it spoils like something that happens in Crooked Kingdom. I have to read Six of Crows really bad. And I, I'll i do it at some point. <laughs> you have to vlog it. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> oh, I love that. I definitely have been listening to a lot more music because I haven't been listening to audiobooks. Like, mm -hmm. what was the last? Oh, the last audiobook I read was Looking Glass Sound. Um, I need to listen to something, but I, I just haven't been, but I have been listening to a lot more music recently. What are yeah. you listening to? Or what, one, how far did you get in your book? And two, what is your musical interest right now? Oh my gosh. So I got, I think 16 more percent into the book. Damn. So I'm like almost halfway done, which is cool. Um, still having a great time um i i feel like i go in cycles with like my music like i'll listen to a lot of music and not be listening to any audiobooks or i'll only be listening to audiobooks and not listen to a lot of music so right now i'm at the point where i'm so tired of all of my music <laughs> so i have to listen to audiobooks um but i'm generally a good old indie pop gal so. mm -hmm. Like what? Because I know that um, people will consider genres differently. Like I'm not a big, like I don't know that much about music. So whenever I think indie pop, like I might be thinking something different than what you're thinking of. Mm, fair, fair, fair. Um, I don't know, like Coin or like Group Love or Hippocampus or something. Those are like That makes sense because I've never heard of any of those. I know, like, I was, like, about to be, like, well, all the indie people I listen to are, like, have the lowest plays on Spotify and stuff, <laughs> or just, like, less than a million um, listeners or something, so, yeah, but. I've been really obsessed with, I've never heard of this girl before, but this song, um, I Hope You're Miserable Until You're Dead by Nessa Barrett. I've never heard of that, but I love that vibe. <laughs> right? I was like, that's horrible. And then I was listening to it and I was like, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh. Like, Rebecca knows all the people you're talking about. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> that is a good idea. Wait, what? Oh. Mm. Hi. A lot of y'all read a lot. Oh my God. What is Manicotti? Um, oh gosh. These you sound guys. like you were about to describe like a smut kink. Is that you? You're like, um. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Italian in me is like screaming. I'm trying to like <laughs> think. Um, it's like a rolled up little thing. <laughs> it's like rolled up pasta, like filled with, um, yeah, it's stuffed pasta. Is it like a tiny cannoli, but it's stuffed with cheese? 
It's like a cannoli if it was made with pasta. But what's inside of it? Like ricotta. Oh, that sounds so good. I love ricotta. Oh my God. Yeah. That sounds like what ravioli should have been. Yeah. Yeah. Tubular lasagna, but just cheese. (laughs) Tubular lasagna. I love that. That sounds so good. Yeah. I love how everybody's like, Katie, duh, it's stuffed pasta. (laughs) Yeah. Ooh, sausage sounds so good in there. Maybe it's like a spin on manicotti. Yeah. Like, Everyone's hey. got their own way to jazz it up. I want it to be an uncooked pizza dough, basically. Like, you got the pasta, got the ricotta, got the Italian sausage, you got that Sunday gravy. Because whenever you at first you said manicotti, it sounded like a dessert. And I was like, please tell me people are not putting sugar in pasta. Like, that sounds horrible. Oh, yikes. People do that. But yeah, (laughs) we don't talk about that. (laughs) No, I love there's like this guy, um, this guy on TikTok, this British guy that watches TikToks of Americans making tea. And his entire TikTok is just that and him like ranting. (laughs) It's oh amazing. Gosh. Especially when they put their cup in the microwave. He's like, what are you doing? That's the only way I know how to make tea. <laughs> there. That's crazy. Okay. I'm hoping that this next, the sprint, will be mm-hmm. my last sprint editing. This video. I really hope. I tend to get, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just okay. go into it with that mindset. True. <laughs> go into the mind. Go into it with the mindset that you're going to fail, and then you'll be happy no matter what. You could, yeah, you could do that too. <laughs> That's what I learned from Hazel Grace Lancaster from The Fault in Our Stars. No, not Hazel Grace. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's sprint because Pia's like. Basically this close to ending the book that she just started. (laughs) Okay. Let's do it.
Hello again. Hi. Oh did gosh. you finish? Did you finish your editing? I did, and I exported it. <gasps> wow. Which is so funny because the mid-year book freakout one took hours to export, and it's only like twelve minutes long. But then this one is thirty-nine minutes, and it was like, oh, sorry, wait, no, I'm wrong, my bad. It didn't take long to export. It took a long time to upload to YouTube. Mm. Weird. This one is also, oh, sorry, God. this one's also taking forever. This does not normally happen to me on YouTube. Usually it uploads really fast. And this video and this last video, oh my freaking Lord. What did I say? And I read two chapters, I think. I'm on um, page 82. I love it. It's so weird. Like, just and literally, if you ever were wondering, like, I wonder what Katie was like in high school. <laughs> this is me, except loud and energetic. Where this girl's like, but the way she dresses, everything she does, literally everything, this is me. <laughs> I love that for you. So cute. What, what were you doing? I was reading... I'm 60% into the book now. Yay. I am having such a blast. Like, um, I don't know. I'm like, there's little things about these books that I'm like appreciating and like noticing more. Like, I love their like long speeches. Yes. <laughs> that are so dramatic. And I'm like, I love that you wrote this. <laughs> like, it's so funny. Um and I'm so, I'm just really love the Egypt vibe vibe of this one. Like it's like particularly hitting that that spot for me. I love the way that she writes the characters. Like yeah. I feel like other people might say it's like too cheeky or it's too whatever, but I'm like no, I feel like she freaking nails it. Yeah. Have you ever seen Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries? No. Oh, okay. I know I've talked about this so many times, and no it used to be on Netflix. And I've watched it so many times and they took it off of Netflix and I have never been more betrayed in my life, but I need to look up what it's on now, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you without okay. a shadow of a doubt, if you like the Veronica Speedwell series, you will like the Miss Fisher's murder mystery series because okay. it's the exact same dynamic, except this is in the Miss Fisher's in the 1920s and then uh, Veronica Speedwell's in the 1800s. But she, the main character is Veronica Speedwell, thousand percent. And then the the relationship between the two characters, except instead of it being a taxidermist, he's a detective, and they solve crimes. It's so, I'm telling you right now, you will be obsessed. Okay, it's on um, YouTube. It says with a subscription. A subscription, and I think it's on Prime. No way, is it on Prime? I don't know. That's what Google says. What? But yeah, it's in the. Yeah, this looks so fun. If it's on Prime, I'll watch it. Oh my god, the first season is on Prime! <laughs> okay. Oh my god, are they... Wait. Do you... Okay. There's only three seasons, so it's not, like, anything crazy. Um, I think that the first one is free, and then the second one is a dollar an episode, I think. Okay, okay. Dude, watch the first... It's so good. I literally, I'm obsessed with them. It's so good. <laughs> I don't have Acorn or Roku. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> no, my mom is the one that got me obsessed with it because one time when I went to visit, she was watching the episode, um, it's something Tomb. It's the last episode of the first season. And I was okay. like, I'm obsessed with this. And then my roommate and I binged the entire series. Uh, the movie's not good, but the wow. movie was made. So that was cool. But I, it's it's got that, like, it's mutual respect. And I'm obsessed. Jack Robinson. <sighs> Light of my life. Oh, it's, it's the woman from um, Babadook. The mom from Babadook is the main character in it. Ooh. Which is a good movie. <laughs> I love it. I love this show so much. I'm like literally gonna watch like 
fan vids of the cat. <laughs> I haven't, but I heard that Jack and Franny aren't a thing in the books. Like that's what I've always heard. And there's a lot of books, but I don't get me wrong. I'm sure the books are great, but like, I don't think I want to read the books because yeah, the mysteries and everything are, are great in the show, but I'm reading it for the relationship or I'm watching it for the relationship. Yeah. That's like Veronica Speedwell. Like the mysteries. Cool. I'm reading it for them. Yeah. <laughs> I need to convince somebody to do fan art because where is it? I I think I saw the author posted some fan art, but not a lot. There was one good one. Yeah. <laughs> but where's the rest? We need well, more. like where's the fan fiction? Like there's yeah. eight fucking books. I'm sure it's on AO3 if you looked. <laughs> it's not. No way. I've searched, I've scoured the internet. You know, time to write your own, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> there are bajillions of books in the world, so, like, don't even feel bad. True. Don't even feel bad. Part of me is, like, do I make a thumbnail and maybe I, I really should probably make a thumbnail and post a video tomorrow because I have my Any Man video that's I don't even remember what's in it because I edited it and forgot about it, but I need to make a thumbnail and everything for that to mm -hmm. post it tomorrow. So I should probably do that in this next sprint. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. I have no videos at it. So yeah, but you, you're like, you've been consistent, you know, it's true. Yeah. That's I, have nothing the name for game. I have nothing for next week. So why we gotta I know, that feeling. I know it very well but the but the mid-year book freak out I'm like perfect Katie that one's in the bag we got that one done yeah <laughs> okay let's do another sprint because we are crushing it
<laughs> Good. <laughs> I was, I'm editing a thumbnail, which always takes me forever because I, I hate picking fonts and I hate picking what to say. I just hate it. Um, but I did, I had forgotten that I had put my inside shoes in the freezer with baking soda in them because they smelled bad. And I was like, that's what everybody said to do. And it worked, but I, for, I didn't realize how hard it is to get baking soda out of something. But I'm wondering if it's the shoes. Like I have never had my shoes smell bad. Mm -hmm. And these, I'm like, maybe it's just a different turn of life. But I'm like, when I wear these shoes, my feet sweat so much. And I'm like, huh. is it the shoe or is it me? That's so weird. I've never heard of putting your shoes in the freezer. And I have really bad stinky shoes. So, Well, it said, it said to either put your shoes in the freezer for the entire night because that will, it said that it would like um, kill the bacteria that's, that's like left behind. And then the other thing, other one said to leave baking soda in it overnight to get rid of the smell, to absorb the smell. And I was like, two birds. <laughs> I love that. It's like a bathing suit material, I feel like. it's. Could you not just like wash them in a washer? Yeah, I'm sure I could, but I don't want my feet to sweat. Oh, okay. So maybe tomorrow I'll go buy like a a Ross or something and like make these my going out shoes. Mm. Cause when I'm inside, I can't be having sweaty feet. <laughs> they probably can. I don't know. I don't got none. Yeah. I've got, I've got the powder. I've got the spray. I've got it all. <laughs> You know. Rainbow cake. Okay. Unintentional nap. That's like Alyssa's go-to. I love an unintentional nap. I love any nap. <laughs> what should you do? What? Are, how much time do you have? What, I mean, if you've never been to a half price books, highly recommend. <laughs> highly. It's like a treasure trove. It's not that much cheaper, but like, it's just so exciting. So much fun. So, and there's two, they're not in the city, but they're like Atlanta adjacent, you know? So I would definitely say it's worth the hike to go there for sure. It's good. I don't know what your, oh, you should go to the Vortex. It's uh, like, um, what I call it. It's like just like an American food like bar. And there's two of them. The original one is a giant skull and you walk into its mouth. It's freaking sickening. Um, and that one allows children or it does outside. But uh, the one downtown is connected to the Laughing Skull Lounge, which is a comedy club. And they're owned by the same people. And the food, the burgers Oh God, they're so good. They're so good. The Yokohama Mama, pineapple and bacon and all teriyaki sauce. Oh my God, so good. That sounds so good. Yeah, you should go. You should go there. It's so good. And if you like alcohol, so. <laughs> if you like alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> like if you don't drink, <clears throat> it might not be the best environment because it's a bar, but <laughs> it's like all like pinup girls and like skulls. It's oh, sick. that's fun. That's cute. <clears throat> Very cute. How far did you get? I'm 77% into it. It's so good. Like, it's so good. I'm uh, the only thing is I'm like, I'm getting into like, my eyes are like glazing over <laughs> from reading uh, for so long. So. I'm not surprised. I, I, I was like, I thought maybe on the last one you were going to say that. And then you were like, I'm ready to go. I was like, oh. <laughs> well, I was at a really exciting part. Wait, I what was it? That. Hmm? What was it? Or put it in the private chat. Wait. 
also during the, the beginning of this last sprint, I went and slightly changed the background so that we were smaller. I didn't even oh. notice you changed it. Is that not ringing a bell? Am I not getting it? Am I not? Am I not? Uh, maybe I'm not getting it. Also, I did read the books like back to back to back to back twice. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was Is it like in when they're in like a kind of museum ish kind of like. They're at like um like a lodge. Oh my god! Wait, wait, wait. Is this? Tell me if it's the second book or the third book. Which one is it? Where they go? They go somewhere, and that Tiberius has been. Mm -hmm. And when they realize like what the place is actually used for, that's the second book. Oh my god! I was dying. I love Tiberius. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anytime he shows up, I'm just like so excited. I love their names. Oh, Tiberius, yeah. Revelstoke, the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know who I also love? Wait, how far are you? You've only, you haven't read past this previously. Yeah, I haven't. I'm only, okay. yeah. I am, I, yeah, she's definitely already come in. JJ Butterworth. I think so, yeah. Who who is she? She is a reporter, um, a journalist. Okay. I'm pretty sure that which I'm shocked by, I'm like, dang, Deanna Rayborn, like you're freaking killing it. Because I remember that um she gets brought in but not named in the first couple mm -hmm. books. Like it's like somebody put out a statement that said so and so or somebody okay. there must have told blah 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 so like she's sprinkled throughout the first couple of books you just don't realize it's her until you reread them mm -hmm. but i'm obsessed i love jj butterworth she is such a boss bitch like she's a female reporter but none of the men want anything to do with her so she's like constantly having to like weasel her way into getting stories that sounds fun i know there's so many like great she does really great like characters like they're all like they're like goofy and like a little caricature-y, but they're like, they're just so fun. I'm trying to think. I was like, I remember there being one person that I did not like. And I'm like, I can't, thank God I can't even remember who it is. But I'm like, <laughs> I feel like there was one character where I was like, uh, you can go. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I hate anyone, which is good. I feel like that never happens. So. Oh, I... Which book was it? Okay, wait, wait, one second. Let me write it with the private chat just in case. Um, oh. In this book? Or in um, anything that you've read so far? I think, I think it was in the second, second, second book. book. In the second okay. book. Okay. That lady? Yeah. She can eat rocks, not kick rocks. She can eat them. Like, she's a bad bitch. We love a bad bitch playing mm -hmm. her game, but also fuck her. Yeah. I mean, I guess I don't like his ex-wife. She's not very cool. That's who I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm just like, oh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, for, the, for the people who aren't participating in our private chat. <laughs> well, there's another character that I can't stand, but they aren't introduced yet, but I, but <laughs> hate it. And it's so funny because the person I'm talking about is literally directly a um, plot in Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. Literally every single thing that happens in that show happens in these books. Everything. It's freaking crazy. I almost started watching that in the last sprint. <laughs> I was like, should I just, should I just. You know, <laughs> you'll love it. Like, give it like a one or two episodes. Like, get it. Yeah. but like, I'm telling you, it's so. <laughs> Obsessed. Okay, I was gonna ask also for you and the chat a couple of different things. One, um, Meg from Meg with Books, obviously, duh, um, messaged me, and I was like, oh my god, this is so sweet. She messaged me, and she was like, she's doing this like 
prompt video that she's done in the past called booktubers give me reading prompts where she asks one booktuber originally and then they tell her a prompt and she picks a book and then she tells them what she thought of it and then they tell her the next booktuber to go to and i don't know what she picked but our blessed booktube bestie told gabby told her based on what she thought of the book that gabby picked that she should come to me and i was like that's so sweet for starter but um i don't understand i'm like i guess i can just pick anything like any prompt are there like exam like examples or like guidelines <laughs> i've seen the videos but like it the last one she did was two years ago so like it's been okay. a long time but the only one that i because i was watching one of the the one from two years ago and she went to kayla and kayla said i'm gonna have you play mash and created this whole spreadsheet of like things that she had to do which was kayla <laughs> Good job. Um, and then she picked When the Tiger Comes Down the Mountain by Nevo. And based on what she thought about that, Kayla told her to go to Aaron. And Aaron gave the prompt, either read the most intimidating book on your TBR, or if you don't want to do that, pick a fantasy sci-fi that another booktuber has given five stars. Okay, okay. So are you you have to come up with a prompt now, right? Do you you have any ideas? <laughs> well, no, because I'm like, if I I feel like if I knew like what Gabby had picked and then why she was coming to me, I feel like that I don't know, mm -hmm. in my head, I'm like, I I feel like it needs to be like streamlined. Yeah. That's so, this is, this is a fun idea though. It's, I think I actually have seen this video now that you're like, it was from a while ago, but mm -hmm. yeah. You know what? I, oh my God. I'm going to push my agenda. As you should. I'm going to push gonna my do? agenda and I'm going to say, I know you haven't taken the damn test yet, um, but you're going to take the Enneagram and you're going to pick a book that you think would be good for your Enneagram because you can't go based on the internet because they are... They're just oh, telling you to read self-help books. <laughs> true. Oh, true. <gasps> Get it from the source. That's true. Uh, no, see, exactly. But the only problem is she needs it by tomorrow. Oh, shit. And I'm not filming it right now. I'll, I'll film it tomorrow. But uh, so I can't wait. And then the other thing I was going to ask was what I should title or put in the thumbnail for any man. I mean, obviously I don't have to do whatever it is that's suggested, but I was just like, I don't know, like trying to think of what I should. Um... Oh my God, my video is only 25% uploaded. That's bullshit. That's crazy. I like your Enneagram idea though, cause that's very you. And, and it's also like a fun activity to do as well as read the book for the video, so. And she has to share the results. I'm exactly. Put that as a caveat. Has to share the pie chart. <laughs> yeah. Let us psychoanalyze you, Meg. <laughs> I like all the, the prompts in the chat as well. These are fun. Oh, yeah. That's good. The yeah. weirdest bug. She wouldn't like it, but it would be fun to watch. Fun. I'm just going to be like, here's the prompt. Read this book. I'm just holding it up. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to say. Because you're like, I'm going to do something so me. And I'm just going to be like, read Bunny. <laughs> this is the prompt. <laughs> oh, my God. Or make it really uncomfortable and be like, read the book. Read a book on your TBR that that is the most me. And see what she picks. <laughs> Meg is nice. Cool. She would just pick something like, oh, this is cute. Like, she would be too nice about it. Kayla would be like... Well, this book is a fucking weirdo, and Katie's a fucking <laughs> weirdo, so that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> mm. But yeah, I'm I'm doing trying to figure out a a title for my any man video. I'm probably just gonna make it like 
equal parts yuck and yum because that's kind of how I feel. Like I, I five stars blazing into the sunset, one of the best books I've ever read, but it did consistently make, make me want to throw up in my mouth. So. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I mean, I think that's a good, a good title. Wait, she hasn't read A Curious Beginning? She doesn't want to start. Oh, that would be so messed up because she, she has this huge thing going on in the last like year um, or two years. Married. Yeah. Hmm. And there, this is an eight book series. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Meg, you know what you should do? Start another series. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be evil. Love that. <laughs> Oh my God, the prompt is going to be like, take the Enneagram and then tell me what you get and I'll tell you what you should read based on your Enneagram. It's a double prompt. Control. I mean, Kayla created a whole spreadsheet game that she had to play. I was like, Kayla, what? She's out here doing the most, you know? I love her for it. She literally <laughs> said in the video, she was like, she was like, this is going to be really hard for you, and I'm happy about it. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Have you started reading that yet? No, I I need to get the physical book because I have the audiobook, and I don't think I should just listen to it. Yeah, I didn't listen to the audiobook because it wasn't out at the time. Because uh, Amy let me legally read the digital e-arc so i need to transfer things on my computer um my notes when i reread this copy yeah but i'm i'm oh, dying yeah. to read it very excited thousand percent i think that um uh what's her face rf klong and ve schwab have a very similar thing of each book they write is completely a stranger to the rest of the books they write yeah so a lot of people um were giving yellow face like not great reviews saying that like oh my like she should stick to fantasy or this isn't it i'm like it's not the same at all like the totally legally obtained copy yes thank you it, it's that. totally legally obtained <laughs> but yes no a thousand percent i will Okay. You, oh, Sorry. I was going to ask if you thought about making a Enneagram video like you were going to do with the Zodiac signs or like you did with the Zodiac signs. Like, I did do that. one for the Enneagram a, a while ago oh, and okay. it was a long time ago. Um, and I should do another one. I am just so. It's a lot struggle with that like I'm really glad that people did enjoy the zodiac one but I swear I do get comments on that video like I'm a Virgo and I couldn't disagree with you more blah 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 I'm like oh okay cool <laughs> I love that that's so funny they're very different so but one go um eight goes to five in stress so maybe that's why you Got such high five. Have you ever taken it? I think we did it once on, or did we do it on sprints once? Or I'm a seven. Probably. Oh, oh yeah, I know no, it's right. okay. I know we talked about it, yeah. Because mm -hmm. then we listened to the, the, the songs that all, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's when I break people's brain. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love that. Thanks. Okay. I feel like we may could maybe could do one more sprint. Oh, thank you. It is very close. And I will talk to you tomorrow, mom. Thanks for hanging around. I hope you have a good night. Oh my God. That's so funny. And then this person is talking about their mom. Mm -hmm. So many moms. But yeah, we can do one more sprint because I know it is, it is late. For our girl Pia. <laughs> I'm pushing through, you know? You're killing it. I'm You're doing way better than I had anticipated. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um are you going to 
read on the next print or are you gonna do something else because you're tired now i might just listen to it and like unfocus mm. a little bit yeah fair very fair i'll probably spend the entire sprint editing this thumbnail because it's so annoying okay let's do our freaking sprints let's go
Hey. Hello. Oh my gosh. I I don't know if you've ever done this, but like, you know, like the um the outro, like uh the in screen on YouTube. Mm -hmm. It is like damn near impossible for me to figure out what sizes to make the videos to fit in to like like a cute background or whatever. And mm -hmm. I, I, I thought I had it. No. Not lining up. I mean, it's way better than it ever has been, but it's not idyllic, but it is the best I've ever done. So. Mm. Good job. Yeah. That's why mine's just blank. <laughs> Don't deal with that. Well, I did it at first. Like, oh my God, this is going to be like so easy. Mm -mm -mm. Nope. No. <laughs> I will say that I went because my butcher is a little low and I was like, perfect, perfect timing. I can make a margarita. And today when I went to the liquor store, I got tequila because I was like, I haven't liked, well, I didn't, I fell out of love with tequila um, mm -hmm. after working at a tequila bar. And I don't know why, like it just, I don't know. It's just like, I used to fucking love it. And now I just don't like it. Yeah. And I was like, you know, it's been years. It's been a long time. And I don't dislike it as much as I used to, but I'm like, eh. So part of me is like, that's like a lot of money just to pour down the drain. So maybe yeah. I'll just like gift it to someone, but. Did you buy it? Yeah. Okay. And I bought one. It wasn't like the cheapest one they had. Cause it was like, it was a brand I recognized. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's not incredibly expensive. It was like 30 something dollars, mm -hmm. but like, that's still, you know, like, the road yeah. but whatever, what can you do? Okay. Did you listen to Treacherous Curse? I did. I'm at 95%. So I'm like so close. Did you up the speed? Yeah. Good God. I, yeah. Because I'm so close. And I was really hoping to get it done in that sprint. Um, I have like 10 more minutes of listening time. But yeah, I upped it. Um, but it doesn't feel that fast. It's fine. Um <laughs> You're so close. You are absolutely have to finish it tonight. Just listen to that while you're brushing your teeth. Like, yeah, I think I will. Yeah. And I want to like mark it as red, you know, <laughs> get it done. <laughs> I'm like, I love Goodreads so much. It's, uh -huh. it's my obsession. <laughs> I love Goodreads. And it upsets me that I'm like, um, when I want to put that I've read something, but I don't want to put that I've read it yet because I, it's in a video and I want to like link the video in the Goodreads review. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just like sitting there like, I know I finished that book. I just want to fucking say that I read it. <laughs> I am curious. It's I, the highest it can go is four. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive and terrifying at the same time. I know. I know. That's fine. Like, I feel like that's like, you know, when they say like, oh, only dolphins can hear this noise. <laughs> that, that's like how I feel like your brain works. Like, just like It might. It might. I'm just so used to listening. Like, I put all YouTube videos on two times speed. I put like everything. I have to have it faster. It's probably bad, but I don't know. Well, I feel like I'll go through phases because I used to have like all videos on 1.75 or 1.5 on YouTube. And now I just put it on 1.25. I don't know why. Like, I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I was just like, because filming and like making content and like reading and stuff is so difficult for me right now. I feel like I'm like, oh my God, I need to like listen to it slower because mm -hmm. all the work they did. But like, that's <laughs> not, that's just me being stupid. Yeah. Really savor every second. You know, and it also is funny to me, like when I edit mm -hmm. so much and the video like turns out to be like 38 minutes long when I had an insane amount of footage and I'm like looking at it and I'm thinking like, I wonder if people that I'm watching their videos, they do this. We're like, they spent like an entire week, but the video is only like 20 minutes long. Like, mm. yeah, I always have too much. I feel like. 
also it makes me so like damn like envious like when i watch people that have like really good graphics and like transitions like alexander rosalind what the fuck like it's and, like literally when she'll do the whole like the and it'll be like a poof and like the smoke will appear and then the book disappears i'm like what are you talking about or just like when like the cinematography is like just so nice and i'm like I can't. It's not a movie. I can't do it. Mm -hmm. That one, um, I always get their names confused because their names are both Leo on book two, but her name's like Leonora. It's like, oh my God, the girl with the blonde hair that lives in Sweden, I want to say. Her, if you want to talk about aesthetic, mm -hmm. there's never, been, like on Instagram, her name's Mind Daisies. And then on YouTube, I always want to say books with Leo, but I'm pretty sure that's the other girl that yeah that's a i think a different person oh my god one second let me look it up it's so funny that i'm like i always get their names confused even though i watch all of your videos literally okay the book leo is different that is a different girl who am i thinking of Okay, well, her, she pops up as her government name. Did she, oh, did she change it? She had to have changed it. There's no way. Okay, so it's Leora Aileen, but I swear to you it was something different before. <laughs> it's okay, I believe you. Oh my God, yeah. Wow. No, dude, watch some of her That's videos. So it is so aesthetic. Like, she needs to be a cinematographer. Like, her editing and, like, it's just stunning. Wow. I could never. I spend, like, I don't know, a good amount of time color correcting, and then I'm like, I'm done. This is already too much. <laughs> okay, so it used to be. Okay. Thank you. That makes me feel better. I'm like, I swear to you. That's funny. But like literally anytime I watch her videos, I'm like, how much B-roll can you possibly film and still do other things? Like, I just don't <laughs> understand. Like, it'll be that whole like, oh, like the ASMR of like, oh, the, the coffee cup, like settling onto the tray and then T T T T T. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Ah, <laughs> okay. I know that it is late for you. What time do you have to wake up? I, it's, I'm on summer sketch. So I'm, Ooh. I don't have to wake up ever, actually. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. All right. I am going to call it a night for tonight. And then I'm going to set up the video, the Any Man video to post tomorrow. I guess I'll do it. I guess I'll do it as a premiere, even though my, I am striking out on times I actually show up to my own premieres. It's like <laughs> fucking embarrassing. <laughs> oh, sorry. I forgot you were doing this. Um, type nine. Ooh. What I would say for type nine, I'm struggling between saying like that they would like to read about conflict because they hate conflict in their life so much. But the first thing I'm thinking of for a type nine is like something cozy, like, Heartstopper, uh, or even honestly anything by Alice Oseman, even if it's like heartbreaking, because type nines like hate conflict so much and <laughs> don't really want to say their opinion because they're afraid somebody else is going to disagree with that opinion and then they're going to have to talk mm -hmm. about it. So I'd probably say Heartstopper would be my first thing I would say. I mean, even Radio Silence, I feel like would be really good because it's two people that have a lot of opinions that don't want to share them. So they do it secretly online. So that's probably, that's what I would say. Okay. Ah, thanks. It's 30 minutes away. Oh um, all right. I am going to call it a night. I appreciate all of you for joining, especially you, Pia La Plata. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Check out her link down below. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Whitley. Oh, Whitley's a dope name. Jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> we are going to bye-bye. Have a good night.